Previously on... Uh, you're messing with the wrong girl here. Uh, you wouldn't want me to, like, take off the rest. I warn you, uh, you'll be really grossed out. But I'm liking what I'm seeing, boy, and I get the feeling I won't be disappointed if I do so. Every time she opened her mouth, she said something more indecent than before. Chaco couldn't believe Gamba spent three days with this woman. In fact, I'm glad she did. Yeah! D damn it, uh, just, just go away. Uh, are we, like, really traveling with these clowns? Chaco! Well, Gabba wasn't exaggerating when she said you were a grumpy pup. That's not cute, you know. I don't care. Just go away. Oh, what a bummer. <gasps> Just don't make your sister worry that much again, okay? Uh, 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 uh! Ah! Brett! Could you shut the fuck up, damn? Jeez, you're not a kid anymore, remember? God! She, she just, Brett, just take it, damn. Okay, so, yeah, I don't even know which flower I want. This looks cute, that's small. Um, ooh, I like that. I like that too. They're all good, man. Is that a rose? That's I. I think that's a rose. Yeah. Uh, that's a. No, I don't think so. No. Yeah, I think. Wait, she loves pink, right? Should I get this then? Well, but that's way too bright pink, don't you think? Maybe this. Or this. Or should I be cute and take the smallest one? I like this though. To be honest. Yeah. Yeah. It's purple too. It's not like really dark purple. I, I mean, I like this one too, but it it's, I don't know why. I like it. Why not, right? Yeah. Or should I get to pick, you know, fight. I choose you. This one. Good choice. I found that flower at. Heron kept talking and talking about the place he found a little flower. He truly had fun collecting them. But Gamba chose this flower for a reason in particular. I did? Uh, it was tiny and had a curious shape. But the shade it had reminded her a lot of the color of his eyes. Oh! That's smooth, bruh! Oh! What is it? Do you want to change it? Noah! This is perfect! Yeah! Thank you! I will treasure it! Yeah! As she said so, she opened a little notebook she had in her wool sh shirt's pocket. Uh huh. You're welcome. Harn returned her smile with another one. He liked her better when she wasn't gloomy. In fact, you sure, uh, don't you want to put it somewhere else, girl? Somewhere a lot more safe because that shit is small, you know what I'm saying, y'all? Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, I, I, I'll trust you, girl, yeah. What are you so happy for? Jeez, bruh, I mean, could you, could you say something nice for once, man? Damn! It wouldn't hurt at all, you know what I'm saying? It would hurt either way. Bruh, bruh, don't be like that, man, damn. Also, your clothes are dry already, man, fucking get changed. You can put them on in time, you know, damn. Right, fine. Look, man, I'm going to look for something to garnish the ducks, you know what I'm saying? Why don't you join Hard and Silly in the meantime, eh? Fine, give me those ducks, uh, I can't clean them so we can roast them. Are you sure, bruh, uh... You are still, like, a bit pale, you know what I'm saying? I mean, you don't have to, bruh. Just give it to me, damn it. All right, all right, bruh, damn. Here's the ducks, man, damn. Gamba's mood was better now. You, uh, do you have a knife? Me? Uh, yes, I have one. It's small, though. 
Whatever is fine. Heron handed him a little, edgeless knife he found in the woods years ago. Does this even cut, bruh? Uh, um, I don't know. Uh, you could try it and find out for yourself. Chakao looked for a moment at the man, from his head to his boots. Or, that was this guy, or what was this guy supposed to be? His ears were weirdly placed to the sides and were all fleshy. Also, he clearly lacked a tail. I think he wouldn't have hurt, you know. He sat on a big rock near the river, where the waters were calm. If anything happened, at least he wouldn't fall and drown there. His head had been killing him after that trip to Old Horn and that was worrying him. It was more likely indicative, indicative of one of those attacks he had from time to time. Slowly, he peeled the duck's breast's feather and then he proceeds to dig the edgeless knife that man provided. Ah! What are you doing? Not this woman again, goddamn. The Chaco. He just wanted to peacefully gut these ducks. Look, don't get close to me. I'll be cleaning these ducks so it's not safe to stay near, aye? He had a perfect excuse now. Oh, alright. But you don't like, got a duck that way? What the hell, uh? I've been doing this for years. What do you even know, huh? Here. Celia approached and wrapped her arm around him so uh, she could take control of his movement. Oh, Celia, damn! <gasps> oh, can you even... Can you even move his arm, Celia? <laughs> anyway, you have to cut its neck, wings, and tails first, gosh. Carefully, she guided him to the top of the base of the duck's neck and pushed his hands to the knife, digged into the skin and bone. She felt a bit of restraint of his part, but quickly he gave in. They were handling a duck and a knife, so they had to be careful. Like this! What? Why are you doing this? Why are you like behind my back? What the fuck, girl? Damn! Hmm. You know what I'm referring to. He didn't understand why she was this flirtatious. They just met, and they literally hadn't talked enough for either of them to have a real opinion of each other. Why were her in- or what were her intentions, or why she was just fooling around with them? The more he thought, the less it made sense. Hmm, why am I doing this? Why? Because you are really cute, and I want to fuck you! <laughs> oh, Celia! This girl, what the shit? The world seemed to go slower for him. I mean, damn. What did she just fucking say? What just came out of that little mouth? She was fuck me? What? Chaka was going through a meltdown worthy of someone who didn't leave their house often. I have... Uh, 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 I have to find Gamba, uh... He he he... It was a couple of hours before noon when Celia decided to return to where Harn and the others were resting. <laughs> In such a good mood you are. And what can I say about you, Mr. Big Smile? Sorry for yelling at you before. You may have your reasons, I guess. Oh, it's alright. Celia knew Harn very well. He wasn't the type of person who would stay mad for a long time, and she was grateful he was like that. In that way, it was easier to take care of him during all these years. Are you comfortable with our new friend? Hmm. She was anxious for his reply. Why is this boy, or, yeah, why is this boy thinking about it that much? She wondered, for such a simple question. I, I don't know. 
as expected of him, a lazy and empty reply. Oh, come on! It's not that hard! Well, uh, you are obviously happy about this. Because you are finally opening up to other people, that's why! You should think about yourself, too. I am old enough to take care of myself. He said that, but she remembered who the past hard was, and strangely enough how it still lingered in his present itself. Patient, Celia thought. She felt she could trust Gamba in the matter, but her brother, Chaco, was a tough nut to crack. It looked like she would have a big ordeal before her last goodbye. Hey, uh, aren't things a bit late? Harm was so absorbed in thinking about where they could travel that he didn't notice that half a day had already passed. Half a day already passed, damn! And neither Gamba nor her brother were to be seen. M- maybe I should go and look for them? Nah, stay there. I will go and look for them. All right. Gamba! Damn it! All these ducks are going to rock! <laughs> Better roast it myself! But what about Gamba? He thought. Isn't she taking too long for a bit of spice? Hey, yeah! Uh, sorry I couldn't find or I couldn't be of any help to you, yeah! Oh, what? Uh. At least you try to be helpful, and that's what matters. Isn't that right, slave? Yo, how the fuck did this happen? Uh, I guess we should go directly ask at Inma Pangamos. Pangamos, she said, and Gamma started to sweat. Ah! 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 If there was one thing that Ailing was good at, it was noticing people's quirks. And this little girl had an obvious wood. Holy shit! What is it? Are you afraid of those woods? Damn this woman, Ailing thought, wishing she would get a fucking hint already, damn. Hey, what the hell are you doing? I've been looking for her, Gamba, God! Who are these people? Gamma looked into her brother's eyes and moved them to the side, as an indication that they were in trouble. Is he your brother? Adio slowly got the drift. Ah, I see. I was wondering what Agamos was doing in the middle of nowhere. The world knows you as old-fashioned recluse dogs for a good reason. I don't know what you're talking about. Come on, let's go. Hey, Link, the brother is the vessel. You need to incapacitate the girl in order to take them. What? (laughs) Whoa! Gabu! Brother, what the shit? Yo! Uh... What? Without any advice, the man who seemed to be a calfer unleashed a powerful blow the Gamma almost missed. Shit, this guy! He's really something down! She thought, feeling worried about that current development. Chaco? Or, Chaco! Your brother! Stay away! Get out of here! No, I, I could never! Br- brother! Idiot! I'm not asking you to choose, bro! Just fucking scram already! Die him! Read the situation, man! Come on! He didn't want to... But he was aware, at this moment, he would be nothing but a burden. Damn it! Eh? No, no, no. You stay there. You can use magic, and I won't hesitate to leave your skin as wrinkled as a raisin, kid. Oh, scum, uh, like I would care what happened to this body. 
As if anything would be as important as... Oh, what the fuck? Huh? Not now. Please, not this. He painfully pleaded as he clutched his knife hoping for someone to hear him. Someone aside from the thing in the depths of his body. Yo, uh... You okay, bruh? Your eyes are like... Or was? I don't know if you guys saw that, but like... It, oh, yeah, that! Yeah! You okay, I mean... Uh... What a disgraceful view. Just give up with the stupid tantrum and return where you both belong to. As harsh as her words were, Adel thought it was for the best for everyone. Of everyone. It was true that Landuraga had never been reborn in a vessel which was not chosen. But she didn't want to give room to the possibility. Why does everyone think they can own our lives? There is no difference between... Here or there, this thing, this thing will be always ripping me apart! Chaka was borrowing his sister's words to give us the strength they needed. Even if he didn't have conviction or hope, he could pretend he still had some. I'm not giving up, no matter how breathless I am. I want it for us, the world, and it's beauty for us to see! Wait, wait! <sighs> that was... That wasn't... That wasn't a nice sword to begin with, man! What the fuck? Oh, I broke his sword! I see what's going on! Damn, Gamba, dial! Eh? What the fuck? Those swords are made of the purest gold! Then, uh, that's your answer, bruh, so, uh, yeah! Gold is good for accessories, but not for weapons, so, uh, yeah. Yeah, I think, uh, if you could kindly fuck off, that would be great. Yeah, you too, uh, witch. <laughs> yeah, and bruh, you okay? Holy shit! Uh, the Queen Dama Marla was known for many things. And one of them was the obs or obscene quantity of gold they owned. The precious metal was used for every single thing inside their territory. Yet Kalfer people were not used to close combat, and soldiers nowadays rarely used swords. No wonder why Ado had no fucking idea. Then you are lucky, girl. I wouldn't risk my precious slave's life for now. Call this a gentle tie. That's, that was, or... That was no tie at all, Ailing thought. It was true that his sword was not that good, but the fact that he didn't notice the blow that broke in it was concerning. He felt they were on par in a matter of strength, but at a different level of skill. What's wrong? Come on, we gotta go now. If not, we will look terribly uncool. Hmm? She noticed how her post precious, or no, most precious and only slave stares at the midget girl. Another heartbeat skipped in her chest as a little ache followed. Adel decided to ignore those bothersome feelings and went according to the current events. Huh, what am I going to do with you? Hey, girl. You want to know your name? Or he wants to know your name? Uh, my name? Sure, uh, yeah. My name is Gamba. And, uh, if you could kindly apologize to my bro, that'd be great. Yeah! His name is Alink, and mine is Angel. Next time, watch your manners and ask about the name of the others in return. Bitch, please! You don't want fucking sex! I helped you! What the fuck is your problem, Dio? Fuck! God! Fuck! Ah, jeez! People these days, Dio! Why would I fucking care for the name of the people who wants to fucking abduct my fucking brother? 
Thought Gamba. This caliper woman talked like she was missing one so fucking some so many fucking screws, damn. Hey, uh, Chaco, are you alright, bruh? You you fine, right? Right? Uh. He weakly nodded as he cleaned the blood from his mouth. Then he noticed his name. Gamma guessed it could be hurting, so she stroked it a bit. Ah, yes, that's right. You, Gamba girl. Maybe you would like to visit the Grima Citadel. Maybe it is there where you can finally lay your brother's dilemma to rest. What? What do you mean? You'll find out if you go there. G Gamba, don't believe that woman. She's clearly is insane. That. It's rude, kid. You don't get to talk to the sacred blood or Marla every day. Uh, the what now? Let's go, Air Link. She returned, no, she turned around carrying some stormy and confusing feelings, which didn't allow her to act for her own convenience. Let them taste the world fully, huh? Gamba didn't want to pay much attention to her, but something felt odd. One of those odd things that struck you once in a lifetime. The fruit was offered, and it looked sublime. Then how was one not supposed to feel tempted by the promising flavor? I don't know. Oh, that's the demo! God damn! Thank you for playing the demo! Chapter 3 and 4 are in development. Please wait for them! Okay! Yo! Oh, man. That was a long demo. Damn! Yo! And that was in Furbia! Oh, dude! Oh, wow! Ah. I was like getting into it too. What the shit? Oh man, you know what? Yeah, that 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 is a uh, Infrubia. Yo, I really enjoyed this. Um, it has that uh ah, uh, what's that anime called? Holy shit, it's been a while. Ah, uh, what's that anime called? Fuck, it's similar to this game! Ah, oh, fuck, I can't, oh, I can't remember the name! I, I can see all the illustrations and the animation in my freaking brain, but I can't remember the name! Ah, oh, nandake! Oh my god, I know it's been a while. Hey guys, what's up? So, uh, I just remember what anime I was trying to refer to. Actually, there's two of them. I believe it's a mixture of two. And, yeah! One of them, is, uh, well, it's actually from a visual novel, right? It's called, uh, Utaware Mono. It came out in 2002 on Windows. It was a PC version, or a PC visual novel game, developed by Leaf. And then on 2006-ish, around April, I believe, yeah, um, the animated version came out. And I believe because of the animated version had a lot of fans and a lot of hype, uh, on 2006, the same year, PS2 version of that game came out, if I remember. Yeah, and then PSP version came out two in three years or so. So yeah, one of those game. I believe that maybe the developer had a little inspired. Or it has the same feeling, I'm trying to say, while I was playing in Ferubia. And I don't know the game did was inspired by this game. Probably not, but yeah, it has that feel. In my opinion, yeah. And... Also, I also feel like the game did have a little inspiration from an anime called Spice and Wolf. Probably not. I, I don't even know if the game did even watch anime, but it's just my feeling, right? This game, I feel like it's a mixture of Utawareru Mono and the anime called Spice and Wolf. And for those who doesn't know Spice and Wolf, it's a, uh, it's basically a, uh, 
Yeah, a wolf lady and a human traveling together, and romance happened. I bet most of you know Spice and Wolf, right? It came out in 2009. Yeah, both of those are one of those uh, 2000-2010 anime, or between that year. And I say that was like the golden age of anime. Nah, not really a golden age. It was, it was my time of anime, I should say. Yeah. Anyway, um, yeah, I feel like this game, Infrubia, has this... Yeah, this it, it feels like a mixture of Utawareru Mono and Spice and Wolf. The reason I say Spice and Wolf is because of the relationship between a, a Gamba and a Hard, you know? It has that feel, you know what I'm saying? And then, yeah, the world-wise, it feels like Utawareru Mono, in my opinion, yeah. And that is what I wanted to say. Also, um, since uh, the stuff I said here, about how I feel about this game kind of sucked and it was kind of hard to understand what the hell I was trying to say. So let me uh explain it in a different way. Yeah, so um I was trying to say, right, is that uh it was hard for me to actually get immersed in the game because of the lack of a BGM. And still, I understand because the game is still a demo. It's still in a development and they're still working on chapter 3 and 4, I believe, right? Yeah, so... Still, I mean, it was hard, and this actually, I believe it proves that sound, right, BGM is really important in visual novel, or visual novel game, I should say. Yes, a visual novel game. If it was just a visual novel, right, just a visual novel book, or just, yeah, if it was just a visual novel, then it all based on your imagination, you know, which is fine too. And what I'm trying to say here is that because of it's a visual novel game, I really believe that sound is really important, you know? Of course, illustration and story is important, but sound is also important as well in order to, you know, have the players to get immersed with the game. And even though, right, even though this game lacked BGMs, right, still, I believe you did a great job with the story, you know? How the story went on and such in the relationship between these peoples and species you know what i'm saying and how uh how the yeah the the relationship between the gamos and the travelers right and there's one story there and there's another new story from kaufer which is like a noble people right and then how they all come together as one right and then the story goes on i really loved that idea in that uh the flow, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like there's a two different story. Actually, there's like three different story in one game. And I really love that idea. And yeah, I just can't wait to play it. And again, for a game, right, that has really lacked the BGM, I really think and believe that you did a great job. Yeah, I mean, there's some part that I feel like his story flow was kind of too fast in some point, and also, the dialogue. I believe some part of the dialogue was so hard to, like, understand who the hell is talking, you know? Because I got really confused during, like, the flashbacks where, uh, who the hell was talking who and such. I know there was, like, a color difference to know, like, who was talking, but still, I I hope you, uh... You clarify that a little more. Yeah, that was a little confusing, in my opinion. And that is what I wanted to say. Also, yeah, uh, about the BGMs, uh, if you guys are wondering, um, I checked, uh, the game developers, uh, Chegovia's, uh, uh, Tumblr that basically she posts the inspirational track list. When she was making this game, um, most of them are from Takada Midori san. She's a uh, electronic, or I shouldn't say electronic, more of a jazz player, right? Also, I believe she's a big fan of uh, Shimizu Yasuki san, which is uh, he's a saxophone player. Yeah, and if you guys are interested in what kind of t- or what type of music she was like inspired by uh again i'll post a link in the description below also if you guys really want to try this game out please please check him out i'll post a link in the description below and um 
Yeah, and her other website as well. That I mean, I understand it's kind of hard because there's like really lack of BGM, and basically, it's almost like you are reading a、uh, visual novel. You know what I'm saying? And it just had a little bit of a sound effects and such, but still, still, this game was good in my opinion. Yeah, I really love the sprite. I really love background CGs. I really love how it fits well. And I'm really, really excited to play the finished game. Yeah, I can't wait until this game is finished. And that is all I wanted to say. All right, back to me. Me? Back, back to the game. Yeah, yeah. So guys, please check this out. And if the actual release comes out, right, the full release, I'll definitely will play this because I really want to know the story. It's so interesting, and I love it. I love it. I love it. And I really love the CG too. Yeah. And that is it for today's Casual Thursday. Or no, that is it for Imperubia. Journeys of the Vessel of Gods. Yeah. Oh man, I really ah、oh, fuck. I really hope they finish this game because I really want to play it with everything inside, BGMs and such. So yeah, that is it for Imperubia. Yeah, thank you very much for watching, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the vid, and hope to see you guys in the next video. All right, guys, take care. Later.